Hello, this is Divine Human Souls and Divine Sunshine. Um, just a point of clarity. Um, I have been out because my basement is being worked on. So I had not been able to come on here like I had desired to. Because the goal was to come on here once. But again, here in Chicago, we had a flood. And uh, some of the places it seemed like uh, we thought we had handled. And then it came and it represented itself all over again. So I apologize for not being on here um, like I had thought so. But that is okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is tap into the energies of the runner, they're saying. Um, so let's look and see what's going on with the runner energies. And you say runner, and I say those are the ones they're exploring. Those are the ones that are outside of the um, what you believe is the connection, what you always connected. There's no outside, but that person is not with you. Um, you feel that um, physically or where you can be able to touch them, feel them. Or whatever so let's take a look and see what's going on with them okay so we got masculine energy he is having a problem with it's almost telling the story having the truth and expressing themselves they're still masking um, and it's interesting he's got the color green so I think I want to say that he's um, not telling the truth about what's going on in his heart uh, and from this card, it looks like it's time for him to express it or face the music or face the truth uh, about him, um, again, not being in his heart energy. Uh, however, here lately, he has had a renewed spark. And that renewed spark has been one in which had been started by the feminine energy. Uh, and whichever way you want to resonate it, that's feminine energy is you that you're in or you can say the feminine energy that's within him by it being light and a sparkle i want to say that again it has something to do with a universal or uh, source um putting that part spark into uh the divine masculine and so right now where we this interest has got pluto we did have some pluto in retrograde um some energies in pluto which has caused the transformation. Let's kind of continue on and see what other story that they're saying um, on this one. So with that, uh, this person, I did ask in my mind, I said, who does this go? So this is one that has some water placement in them, um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio um, placement in them. So this person, has any of those placements in their rising, their moon, and their um, sun sign, sun sign, um, this would be what's going on with them. Um, I would say it says ace. Um, to me, they're trying, they're being led by spirit in order to be an ace, which means to be in the form to be a leader. Uh, and then also I'm thinking about it being water, I'm thinking about this cup. Uh, ace of the emotions, uh, being practicing self-love. Okay, let's continue on. Let's see that. So, this summer has brought on growth. Okay. Uh, and I really want them seeing it's got this crystal balls. This person has really been taking some inner um, inspection of themselves. Uh, and it could be because of the water energies. And it could be, again, they might not even have to have that in their place. But it could be also because of the Cancerian um season that we just came from has brought this on for this person um this is what i'm feeling too as well i want to say also the emotions also i'm getting another thing uh during pisces season um well we might have a piscean moon too had but either march or either piscean moon that we had really had caused this spark uh of imagine uh of uh imagination not a slip of imagination of them really seeing themselves either out of the situation or seeing themselves with you um something had got them thinking and getting a new perspective on things 
Uh, and so this is what it is, this Ace of Water, which to me, I see the feminine. And really it's interesting how she's holding the heart. And this goes twofold with the feminine energy is being more in touch with the heart. Uh, I would say it's more of an opening that was happening with the divine masculine energies um, due to, again, the feminine energies. And um, this also started to, I'm looking at these waves in the water, to kind of reverberate over into the masculine side about the divine feminine getting more in touch with her feelings uh, within her. The crystal ball calls them to be able to really see things more crystally, which is again in to me about how they're acting now is going to affect their future. Um, interesting, they say final hours. So this growth, and so this growth has started in summer. So if you're in contact or not in contact, just know that this person is growing uh, as well. The and also they're integrating, and it's interesting. It's got the light, like we're saying, the coals or the light for union right now. Um, I see this bird here, and this bird can go t uh, several ways. Um, this union is, I see a bird, and it could be also because uh, birds can also represent ancestors that have passed on, bringing a message. So to me, this is also an ancestry on and having a play in this, um, also helping out into this union. Uh, also, this bird could also represent freedom and ascending. But yes, this is truly going on and happening for this person. Even though this is in darkness and there's light, to me, you might not even think or or feel that there's any changes when you look at this person. But even in the darkness, there is light um, going on, I mean, while you're not knowing it. Uh, there is some movement and light being cast on this person about this union and this light or these light codes or these union codes or whatever where they are is also being down this person and they are getting because the light looks like it's specifically going into him not too much hurt him into the masculine energies to be able to change and cause that transformation this to me when i see this seed the seed had been dropped in the spring which goes back to what i said about the pisces energies in march things had started to kind of change and transform uh it started to be transforming and so you like to say and when the seeds start to really to sprout and grow wings and to grow um during this time um let me see if i can see what was some of the energies as to why? I got another one in here, I feel like I do. These are my doodle tarot cards. I got a lot of new ones off of Timu uh, Clear. Um, they, they've been, um, they have tarot cards on there for like really reasonable stuff, um, things. I don't know how they had that, but they do. <laughs> So let's look and see, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, it probably is, but what's the influence of this starting in the springtime? What set the seed? What was the reason for it? King of Wands, oh wow. So you got a Queen of Wands and a King of Wands, interesting. In the feminine energies, because of the Queen of Wands energy, wanting to be vivacious, independent, funny, and confident, and the Divine Masculine energies wanting to be energetic, optimistic, and a natural loyal and loyal, these are the two things that had calls for uh, these changes. It was interesting a balance of energies. Okay, the wands, we have some action and some movement. So because of that, the action of the feminine and the action of the masculine energies uh, really coming into that, uh, that play. I'm looking here and I'm seeing this cat. So to me, I really pick up here is like with the feminine energies within this person, or you could be even seeing you if you operate more in the feminine energies, was saying, you know what, I'm kind of tired of 
this stinking thinking where I believe a superstitious thinking, which is if I think a certain way, a certain thing is going to happen, it always happens because it happens this way all the time. So let's say again, every time when you always think, every time I give a heart away to somebody, uh, there is, as soon as I fall deeply, I'm looking for them to ghost me. And lo, lo and behold, they ghost me. Okay, that's thinking, thinking, that's superstitious thinking. This is what we're talking about here, about that thinking. However, we got two lions here, which is interesting here, here which we are in lion season, which is, again, about your courage, how you got your ego, which way is it to me I'm looking at this, and how are you being encouraged? And right now, the queen energy is pushing for that encouragement to change um, for that. And so that is majorly because of the thinking. And so because of ego, like we're saying, a lot of times we're saying ego is bad, but when I'm looking at here, there's like two types of energy of here, of how that's helping to push you along into the next thing and how this encouragement of, of, if, if, of it is. I don't want to say it's good and it's bad, but to me, for it to see two lions, what I'm being um, pushed to say is that now you're learning how to balance out that ego. You know, you understand that the ego gets you through the door, but okay, after a while you can say, I got it from here. You don't have to keep on gassing me up and to say, okay, I got it. Because sometimes when the ego goes over, then you start getting into illusion and you're not seeing things very clearly. Uh, so this is where it is with that. And I'm seeing pyramids in the past. So this queen energy has been really dealing with a lot of things in the past, making decisions. I'm not going to do the same thing and make the same actions like I did. Then I'm going to balance out this ego energy here um, moving forward. And so this is causing for through the feminine energies to be a turn for this masculine to say i'm gonna be more vivacious more independent more funny and more confident this is what the uh the queen of wands energy is bringing in so again that could be you or that could be them if they are also balanced two of two energies for the king of wands here we got energetic optimistic natural leader and loyal so the king of wands energy has planted the seed that came to them of understanding that things have got to change. This looks like, a, this little thing here looks like almost like a chameleon. It's some type of lizard or something like that. And so when I'm looking at this, I'm going to say it's chameleon. I think what that energy is almost like uh, what I said overall for the moon energies has been playing along. It's changing colors not really um, saying, you know, what is my true colors because I could be able to fit in so well uh, with different um, types of situations, people, places, and things that I'm kind of forgetting as to who I really am because this person is out in the desert. I have no markers around me to help me to reflect back to me to say who I truly am. So as a leader, as a natural leader, a lot of times leaders do not have any kind of markers or landmarkers to go by because you are the one who is setting the pace. You are the one who is setting the, the, the way in which things should go as a leader. You can, even when you get into different jobs and things like that, you can look and see how the leader did before you. But at the end of the day, once you're in that job in a little bit, you need to be adjusting and moving things to be more suited and more better fit for you to make you feel comfortable and for you to feel like you're standing in your power as a leader. So this King of Wands energies kind of presenting themselves in the masculine energies of being energetic, optimistic, a natural leader, and loyal. I'm wondering what popped off the most out of this was loyal and wanting to have more so loyalty. That's why it was in the other cards, the other reading about the general energies for the awakened soul um, is that again, if you are on this channel and you are attracted to this channel, your person is awakened. We're not talking about people that I'm semi-awakened and he ain't quite there yet. He's still sleeper in, in, in sleeper mode. That ain't it. They might act like they're in sleeper mode, but they ain't sleep. So if you are on this channel, your person is awakened. Um, 
I'm just let you know. Say, oh, I found you. Yes, your person is awakened. It's just that they're saying they just don't know how what to do with that awakeness. Like they say, woke nation, I'm woke, but what do I do with it? You know. And so this is where they are. So they know who they are, and they want to be loyal and show more devotion into one direction as to what they want to go with. And this is the energies that they're putting out there for us uh, as well. So this is the seed that had been dropped by either the energies of whichever one that you feel or within themselves that that spark from the divine, that divine spark put in them and lit this part. Because this part to me had been kind of a little dormant. It had been died. But it's like, we got to put some some fire underneath this. We got to rebirth this like a car that's been sitting there. And they got to regenerate these elements within them because these elements have been asleep and it's like okay now awaken now these things are planting the seed and now they got to kind of go ahead and start growing and cultivating that so that's what's going on uh with that one so now moving forward with this person what's going what's some next things that's going on with them okay so to me, when I look at it, first thing to me, it looks like Dark Knight is so a little bit here. So they're going to be kind of right now regretting on some things. One part they're saying to me, regretting they didn't move as, as fast as they thought they should. It's some things that like, if I would have known this earlier, maybe some of the decisions that I made, I would not have done. Um, and they're also dealing with um, just sort of repressing um some things too. Repressing to me when I pick up on this is repressing the 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 whole divine, the divinity. Like I felt it coming, but I just pushed it back down. You know, it's like a person I don't know why this is coming to me. So excuse me if this is too graphic, but I'm picturing like a a teen that knew they were pregnant and they're just trying to find a way like if I could just hold it in because I don't want nobody to know that I'm pregnant and I'm about to have this baby right now and they keep on holding and holding it uh and it's like but that's who you are you know uh repressing it and this is again giving birth to themselves and they have been hiding it so this is one thing that they're dealing with they're going to move into that knowing and some of the decisions that they had made, so some of the things that they had thought, the way they're thinking about themselves, about you, about the whole thing, they're not coming into regret. But they do know, oh, that cute little, small little, small little, little shoes them, that they're going to be moving into the family, knowing about the home and the commitment. Uh, as well um let me see about also about which one so that's kind of self-explanatory understanding about who am i really actually connected to and whatever things that i'm connected to how do they help to bring me to have that home feeling like i'm at home um with that too and then it's going to move into commitment but to me what they're telling me in that order is and it's like and in that order we're looking at family, seeing who I'm connected to. Then it's going to truly help me to get a real good sense of who home is. And once I get the true sense of know what home is, then I'll be ready for commitment. Uh, but right now, I got to deal with this regret, some things that I have repressed about myself, about me being divine, you know, who I truly am, about these ideas of me being with um in union whether it's with self the job the person you whatever this union thing because some of them again um have union and they regret it or they repressed and they knew that that wasn't the right person or they're in a job they're regretting they're repressing that they know that it's not right but they're just saying i'm just gonna go through the motions of it um let me see as far as um is there any signs um, that's really, this could be really, I'm trying to see, kind of narrow this down. So this seems like this person, if your person or you are, or have Taurus placement in there, is Taurus, this is affecting those that have Taurus. If your person is an air sign, has air placing in um, their um, sun, moon, and rising, 
this is them um they're underneath uh neptunian influence and neptunian influence uh again is the father uh neptunian energy uh, they don't have it on here um that is one that is able oh neptunian energy they're telling me is the one that's going to like like cut through all the stuff and help them to really truly get clarity help them to get the answers that they seek because i was watching that's interesting one on gaia and they were saying the young lady said before you go to sleep um Put your intentions, write it down, and then uh, focus in on that Neptune here symbol. And they're telling me that's the same thing. They're going to help them get clarity. They're going to help them get clarity through their dreams. They're going to really, truly get an understanding about what's going on. And if they're, again, a sign of, yeah, this got Neptunian is, again, Neptune is their um, influence for their sign and Mars. So that would be, again, that's Aries, too, as well. And it's, it's Scorpio underneath that, too, as well. Somebody else got uh, Mars influence. I think it's Scorpio. Uh, don't quote me. I don't go for all that. Somebody speak me. Oh, my God. And they say I'm all the way down deep dirty deep with the astrology i do know some things because that's for me being in relationships or connections with people but definitely if they got some mars and some and a tune is over the ruling planet of whatever sign they are that's it but they definitely telling me that it's no matter what you got water sign taurus and you got air sign here uh, and those who have got these other Mars placement as well in that tomb, but they are going to have clarity. They're getting some answers right now to a lot of things, and this is going to help. Okay, let me stop. <laughs>